Lord, open our names, and we shall praise your name. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Come ring our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Let us come before the Lord giving thanks. A mighty God is the Lord. A great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it. And the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as a mariba, as on that day at Mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my word. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. For forty years I was weird of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge to the manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host to the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They are happy who dwell in your house, Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. 
My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for brood. She lays her young by her altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. The happy you strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to sun. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, a shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a ram but a shield. He will give us his favour and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for every man. They are happy who dwell in your house, Lord. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it, and many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall decide for many peoples. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, O sing to the Lord, bless his name. O sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his hell day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. And his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise. To be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Is our majesty and state and power and splendour in his holy place. 
Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shall for joy. At the presence of the Lord where he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts both now and for ever. Amen. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Talk and behave like people who are going to be judged by the Lord of freedom, because there will be judgment without mercy for those who have not been merciful themselves. But the merciful need have no fear of judgment. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. He alone has wrought marvellous works. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. In the house of David his servant, as he promised by the deeps of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled. And his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice. All the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. 
Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God. In the life of His incarnate Son, God has shown us the dignity of man's labour. With this in mind we pray. Lord, bless our world. We bless you, Lord, for bringing us to this day. We thank you for protecting our lives and giving us what we need. Lord, bless our world. Be with us, Lord, as we take up our daily tasks and help us to remember that it is in your world we live and work. Lord, bless our world. You have called us to serve you responsibly in the world. Help us to build a just and Christian society. Lord, bless our world. Stay with us and with everyone we meet this day. Let us give your joy and your peace to the world. Lord, bless our world. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. King of heaven and earth, Lord God, rule over our hearts and bodies this day. Sanctify us and guide our every thought, word and deed according to the commandments of your law so that now and forever your grace may free and save us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.